Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be modeling this machete right here. And in the last two videos we modeled a knight sword and a short sword. You can check those videos out, there's a card in the top right corner. We can press 1 on our numpad and also 5 on our numpad to go into orthographic view, front orthographic. Press shift A to add a cube. Now we're going to model our handle. We, may, we want to scale this on the Y axis. So you can press 3 on your numpad to go into side view and then scale it down, something like this. Scale it a bit on the X axis and we want to scale it on the Z axis. I think something like this will work. Press tab to go into edit mode, then you can use the Z key to go into wireframe mode. And from now on we're going to be using the C key to get the circle select tool. So I'll select the bottom right vertices and maybe move them a bit on the Z axis. So just press G and then Z. So I'll just press Ctrl R to add some loop cuts. And now I can use my scroll wheel to add some more loop cuts. I'll add three and then I'll go in between each I'll add one more. So Ctrl R, add one here, Ctrl R, add one here, here and here. Now I can select these middle ones with C. Make sure you're in wireframe mode or else it, it won't select the back vertice, vertex, sorry. And then select these middle ones. Now this bottom one you don't actually have to select, that is up to pre preference. I won't. So now you can press G and X to move it on the X axis and you have this nice grip. Next I will again add some loop cuts, so press Ctrl R to add a loop cut here and a loop cut in the middle. And now you can hold Alt and right click and it will select a line of vertices. Next you can hold Shift and Alt and then right click and it will select this one. And do the same thing for all corners. And now you can press S, X to scale on the X axis. And it will kind of have this nice rounded look. That's it for the handle. Now we can go ahead and add another cube. So while in edit mode, press shift A and add a cube and this will be our blade. So I'll just move it up, scale it on the X axis, go to side view with three on your numpad, scale on Y axis, something like this is good. Before we get started, I'll just add a loop cut in the middle and in the middle here. I'll go into wireframe mode and select the top part with C and then select the size of your blade. I think something like this will work. Now I want to create that pointy part of the blade, so I'll just select this left part, move it up, select the middle part, move it up, and select this bottom part, and maybe move it a bit down and a bit inwards. Also select the top part, and I'll move it a bit on the x-axis. Next I want to add more loop cuts, so Control R, and I'll add three loop cuts. Select the first one from the top and then move it on the x-axis. Select the bottom, uh, the lower one, move it, and this one we don't have to move. Now I want to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, move this one a bit backwards and this one a bit inward and this one inwards also. Now we just have to merge the front part so we have a blade. Select these three vertices, press Alt-M and merge at center. Now I'll do the same thing for the rest of them. And now just go into wireframe mode, select these bottom bottom ones. And nice, that's nice. Now you can go into face select mode, select these back faces. Maybe scale them on the Y axis, so just S and Y. And you got a machete. Now. I think this part might be a bit too thin, so I'll just select it and move it backwards. And that's good. Maybe this part too. That's good. Only thing left to do is to add some materials. So I'll just go to my material tab, add two new materials. I'll call this one blade and this one handle. The handle is going to be black almost black, like a really dark gray. 
and then I'll go into edit mode, press L to select this handle and click assign and now we can just change the blade part. We maybe want to add some uh, specular to that and this will be gray also. And that is how you model a low poly machete in Blender. Hopefully this helped you. Check out my other tutorials. Uh, there's uh, links to my social media and to my Patreon in the description if you feel extra uh, generous. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.